Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to record games like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and Chris Sawyer's Locomotion using Hypercam 2. Now I get a lot of questions about how to successfully record Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so I thought I'd make this tutorial for you guys. So obviously you need to start by getting Hypercam 2, here's the site right here. Make sure you get it from here and any other place or any other version like Hypercam 3 because the last time I tried that version it didn't work with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 so uh, download this one using those links for the 32-bit version or this link for the 64-bit version. Now if you don't know do you, uh, which uh, Windows version you have you can uh, hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press the pause break button to bring up this win window and then it says right there if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. Alternatively you can click on the start menu and right click on computer select properties to bring up the same window. So after you've downloaded and installed that, open it up and let's go through the settings that you need for a successful recording. Now if you want to record the entire game, uh, make sure these start X and start Y are both zero. That means it'll start recording from the upper left corner instead of a certain amount of pixels away from it or something like that. Yeah, a scenario where you might need that is if you want to record something like only a certain uh, roller coaster window in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or something like that. Then for these two, width and height, you need the exact same uh, pixel value that you use for the game resolution uh, in whatever game you're recording. For me it's usually 1280 by 720. Uh, Crystal's Locomotion can do bigger resolutions than that, but I uh, usually use this one because uh, bigger resolutions make the UI pretty small and such. So make sure these are the same as in the game if you want to record the entire game. If you only want to record a small piece, then just set them to whatever the small piece is. Then uh, this uh, section or option here doesn't really matter, but it's good to have a visible rectangle of the area that you're recording. And then this next option here is very crucial. Select the upper one, leave hypercam window opened. By default it's either one of these and they are both bad because once you actually start recording it'll minimize your game and screw up the recording so make sure you have the upper one selected. This option here I found that it doesn't matter when it comes to these two games for some other games it might be necessary to be on. Now let's go to the hotkeys, these are by default I think they were F2, F3 and F4. Obviously you'd want to change those if you use the F keys in uh, the game that you're recording. Put something more uh, complicated here like I've done with Alt and uh, Numpad keys for those. And these are very crucial for actually doing the recording because for these two games if you use these buttons here, the start recording or start paused, then it actually uh, doesn't work, it'll end up, end up recording just a blank screen or your desktop or something like like that if you start recording before the game has uh, loaded successfully. So make sure you start the game first and then uh, use the, uh, the hotkey, this one or this one, to start recording instead of clicking here first and then starting the game. Now, unless you actually plan on panning the capture area, make sure these are all unselected because otherwise you might end up accidentally moving it since uh, both shift and control are pretty crucial keys in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 specifically, so you might end up accidentally moving the capture area when pressing those two and moving the mouse, so make sure they're all off. And this is uh, where the file will go. Um, that's a good way if you have uh, record multiple files in a row to have that on. And this I think was 15 by default on both so make sure you set that to at least 30. And that's a good amount because YouTube uses that and such. And then this I recommend to put on one, I don't remember what it was by default. 
and this one I think I left it at the default value same thing with the video compressor select auto select that seems to be working the best now for frame compression quality I'd recommend at least 90 or something like that by default it was pretty low like 50 or 60 or something like that moving on to the sound and this is another crucial area by default uh, this option here is turned off so that it doesn't record any sound now unfortunately hypercam is only able to record one uh, sound device so you have to decide if you want to record your microphone or the game sounds and then record the other one with a separate program like i'm doing right here i'm recording my uh, microphone with audacity it's uh, easy to use and free program so i can definitely recommend that uh, anyway then you have to uh, find the proper device here if you do default it might not work uh, it might work for the microphone but for uh, game sounds it might not work so make sure you actually choose the one that you're using if i wanted to record the microphone i'd choose this one but i usually use it use hypercam to record the game sound so i use this one called what you hear it's uh it's like a loop thing uh, that is a feature on all uh, sound cards and uh, motherboards with sound chips on them yeah for most devices it's called something like stereo mix or mono mix or something like that and uh, to see what it is on your device you should open up the playback or actually recording devices or pretty much any of these to open this window here for windows sound settings now in playback devices devices make sure that you have a uh, analog device selected because for some reason at least for me hypercam doesn't work that well with uh, digi digital devices so uh, make sure you have an analog one selected they usually have a speaker icon like this or this while the other ones have like a box thing there they're they are all, uh, usually dig digital ones if you only have digital devices then uh, I guess it should work with a microphone a digital microphone here and then you could use audacity or something like that to record the game sounds but anyway make sure that's an analog and then uh, in the recording section uh, it doesn't have really matter what you have set as default here unless of course you wanna record the microphone then you have to have it selected as the default one and here you can see the watch you hear that is uh, that's uh, visible here as well but if you don't have this type of device visible then you should right click anywhere on this area and uh, select show disabled devices then it should so show up like that as a stereo mix or something to that effect then you can uh, need to right click on it and select enable to put it on in my case i have a separate sound card uh, creative x uh, sound blaster xfi here and then this is the actual uh, motherboard sound chip here real tech high definition audio so i can record either one of those if i want and here uh, you should also go to properties by right clicking on it and uh, lower the level i think it's 100 by default or something like that so lower that to below 50 somewhere in that range because otherwise the sounds will get recorded pretty at a pretty high volume and that may cause uh, bad quality mm, and yeah that should be good then these uh, i think are good by default although this one i think it was 22 thousands so I recommend 44 the highest quality there and in the options screen if you want to record the cursor make sure that is on and select from screen I don't really know what this custom I oh adds yeah, for a custom uh, cursor if you want a custom icon for that and then you can even add a starburst to it if you want and add screen notes and whatnot but <laughs> those aren't really meant for games they're more for presentations or something like that so anyway, that's all the recording settings and such, then I'll show you how it's done. So make sure you have this window open, it can also be minimized if you want. 
and then start the game. And here's another trick if you play Roller Coaster Tycoon off too often. You don't need the uh, CD in the CD or DVD drive if you uh, enter the game installation path right here and press enter and it will load up without the CD. Now for me this is currently in a window mode state using this program called DXWND so that I can actually record it with the other recorder that I'm using. Anyway then uh, I recommend not starting to record here you should first load up the game that you want to record let's select the random one here and then when you got everything set up press the hotkey like so and then this border will appear if you have that selected in hypercam then you can just play normally and do whatever and commentate or whatever you want and then I recommend uh, quitting the game actually before you stop recording so it doesn't cause any problems because once you stop recording you'll minimize the game again. So exit the game and then press on the hotkey or just press here to stop the recording. And then from here you can open up the output folder and check that the recording went well. With really short recordings like this one, the video can end up going much faster than the sound, as you can see right here. But with longer videos, that's not a problem at all, and even if it does happen, you can sort that out with, an, with a good editing program. Although with longer videos, the uh, sound might lag up a little, but it's quite a minimal amount, and it's pretty easy to fix uh, with a good uh, editing program like the other aforementioned possibility. Now if you're having trouble like the game's colors getting all screwed up when you start recording or during it then I recommend disabling arrow themes in Windows and that could be done by right clicking on the desktop going to personalize and selecting Windows 7 basic here as a theme or alternatively a classic one or one of the high contrast ones. Just make sure you don't choose any one of these or a custom one that has uh, this type of icon on it for arrow. And then you should also make sure you only have one background. Because if you have multiple ones selected here, they'll change every 30 minutes or hours or whatever. And every time the change occurs, the colors might get screwed up. For me, that hasn't uh, happened in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but in Crystal Locomotion. The colors go haywire every time the windows background changes, so I've disabled that. And lastly, if you want to know how to run uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or Research Locomotion in windowed mode, then get this program DXWNB. Make a new uh, profile here using Add, and then use these settings that I have right here. I'm not entirely sure about all these if they're needed, but this one is Crucial DirectX 7 and Primary Surface. These should all be set to zero. And these, some of these may be required as well to successfully run it in a window mode. Surprisingly, it also works for Crystal's Locomotion, and here are the settings for that. I don't remember if these are identical, but... Uh, these are the same and so along with those numbers down there and uh, the correct mouse position. I remember that's pretty crucial for everything, everything to work properly. And once you have this program running you can either double click here to run it or just run it normally from the icon on your desktop or store menu or wherever. And it'll run in the window mode like this. Although. Uh, yeah, you can't move the window or anything, but you can uh, interact with other items and such if needed. So that's it for the tutorial. Make sure to leave comments below if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!